This is Ozzy Griffin for The Sexual Futurist. I'm talking about webcomics again, and today I've got three for you that I think really, uh, really get right to the heart of what it's like to date a gamer, a nerd, or a geek. Uh, first one I'd like to mention is Player vs. Player. Uh, this is written by Scott Kurtz, and uh, frankly, it is hilarious. This is oriented towards gaming and gaming, uh, gaming gamers and uh, game, game jokes. However, it really does what is good in uh, a lot of uh, comics. It has a beautiful storyline of romance between uh, between Jade Fontaine and Brent Sienna, two working colleagues uh, at a gaming magazine called, funnily enough, Player vs. Player. It's not the focus of the strip most of the time, and it has a lot of um, jokes about men and women relating to each other, and frankly does them beautifully. Uh, Scott basically has a strip oriented towards uh, nerd humor and uh, nerds, nerds just being themselves. Uh, the second strip that I want to talk to you about is Control-Alt-Delete. Now, depending on who you talk to in the webcomic community rel relative to gaming, uh, this can be argued to be one of the funniest strips out there regarding gamers, gaming, and basically the lifestyle associated with it. In fact, uh, the sexual futurist uh, audience would be interested to know that the f one of the earliest storylines done in the strip when uh, it's not just the two main characters being used as sight gags, uh, like being hacked up by ninjas, is actually uh, regarding Ethan losing his current girl girlfriend and then having uh, the girl next door, Lia, basically uh, whoop him in a tech and, and win his eternal love. Gamers are weird like that, and it works for this strip. Anyway, it's, it's well worth a read, and brings me on to my third and final uh, example, a webcomic that I'm ser I seriously wondered if I should have made a whole video to it by itself. I'll let you decide. It's called El Goonish Shive. This was basically a name that came from Dan Shive, the comics author, uh, not knowing what to name the strip. From going from a few sight gags and uh, a modest storyline to begin with, your average starter pack for a webcomic back in the uh, early 2000s, El Guna Shive has become, uh, in a word, a brilliant, brilliant portrayal of uh, people's questions about sexuality, growing up, gender identity, and occasionally magic nose bleeping though I leave that for the readers to discover on their own. When it comes, very few strips are able to stay as, uh, I, I think one pundit put it, squeaky clean, as El Guna Shive has when discussing cross-dressing, uh, bisexuality, uh, tra transgender issues, and a bunch of other stuff. Yes, it does go into the uh, magical fandom category in some areas. Uh, however... However, when you actually seriously analyze it, the genuine heart of the matter is honest, happy, playful discourse about incredibly serious uh, material. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, my sense of humor was greatly shaped uh, by the same influences that Dan Shive has, so making jokes about gamers uh, glomping and, basi and basically people just loving each other, each other in innocent, sweet ways and having fun has basically, in some, in some ways it has come from the comic strip and in some ways I probably wouldn't have the sense of humor I do without it. Anyone who's talked to me uh, outside of, the, even in the comments section, has seen traces of it. So that's three, that's three of the best for you. I hope it's given everyone some food for thought and something fun to read uh, when you, if you're bored stiff on the internet. No pun intended. Anyway, I'm Mozzie Griffin. I'll catch you guys later.